Uh, granted, one of the other big items was picking the name. And there were three of us sitting at a bar in, in Lake Mills one night in December of 75. And that's where the name Trek came out. It didn't come out of any New York advertising agency or any uh, great market survey. It was just dumb luck. We went to the New York Fight Show in February 15th of 1976. And we were so small and so cheap, we couldn't afford a booth at the Coliseum. So we had a room. We had two rooms at the Sherry Netherland, right on uh, Park Avenue South. And the only way we could get the frames up was by a freight elevator in the back. So there were three of us. Dick Nolan had driven the, the frames out in a van. And Bevel and I met him in New York. And we got the frames set up on Sunday morning. And Bevel says, well, nothing's going to happen this afternoon. He says, the show starts tomorrow. He says, I'm going to go over to New Jersey and visit my in-laws. And I don't think anybody here remembers Dick Nolan, but if you saw some of the old catalogs, the guy with the beard and the stocking cap on was Dick Nolan. And if you think I'm an introvert, you should have seen Dick Nolan. <laughs> and so Sunday afternoon arrives, and all of a sudden there's a knock on the door. Here are the first people who want to look at Trek fights. They never heard of this guy. So here, Nolan and I, the engineer and the bean counter, eating at respective dinners while God knows what Belmo was doing. <laughs> the highlight that comes up in my mind was the, the first tour in uh, 99. Uh, you know, I didn't know a lot about the Tour de France or road bike racing. And we had this team of the tour, and Dick was in, uh, in Europe, uh, kind of managing the, the company's uh, involvement. About halfway through the tour, he called John and he said, you know, these guys might get it done. He said, you better get somebody over here. And so John asked me to go over, and I saw the last few days of the tour, and I think as I told you last year, I had an opportunity to ride in the team car during one of the time trials. But I think one thing I'll always remember is being on the Champs-Élysées that Sunday afternoon, standing near the finish line, and seeing this big Teletron uh, up over the avenue. And just, this was one of these huge screens. And the picture of that big blue line, you know, coming on the Champs-Élysées, Knowing they were Americans in Paris was just a very chilling event. And to be at the finish line and see Armstrong in that podium and the French having to play the Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> 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 the was, I mean, it was just chilling to be there. And I, I even think the French loved the Americans for one day. I remember, <laughs> I remember walking back to the hotel and the, the the guy at the courgier desk or whatever they're saying is he looks at me and goes like that. <laughs>